Today we are going to discuss about banner in Spring Boot. So as part of this discussion, we will understand what is banner in the Spring Boot, how to customize that banner content and how to disable that banner. All right, let's get started. So here I'm taking a Spring Boot application, which we created in our previous videos. Now, first I'm running this application and I will observe how that banner will be printing. Right click on this project, run as Spring Boot app. Right. Observe the console. Application is getting started. Right. So here we can see Spring is printed. This is called banner in the Spring Boot. So this banner is getting printed when our application is getting executed. Right. How this banner will be printed? That logic is available as part of run method. So let me get inside this run method, open implementation, going inside the run method, going inside this run method. Right. Here we have uh, 310 line number print banner. So 310 line number print banner is available. So get into the, this method. Right. So here some predefined logic is available to print that banner. If banner mode is equal to off, then it is simply returning null value. Banner will not be printed. So with this piece of code, we can understand we can disable the banner also. Next one, it is trying to load default resource loader by using that class loader. Then it is trying to print that banner. And if a banner mode is equal to lock, then it will print the banner only in the lock file. Right? So if the banner mode is equal to off, banner will be stopped. If the banner mode is equal to log, it will print banner only in the log file. If these two conditions are not satisfied, then banner printer dot print on the system dot out, then it is going to print that banner on the console. So for the banner, we can set three modes off, log and console. Console is the default mode. Right. Now let us go to this application and go to this properties file. So Spring Boot banner mode we can set in two ways. One is by using this properties file, another one by using programmatic approach. So first I'm preparing this properties file. Spring dot banner, Spring dot main mode, Spring dot main dot banner iPhone mode is equal to control space. Three options are there, console, log, off. So if I choose console, it will print banner only on the console. That is the default mode. We no need to set that. If I choose this as log, it will print the banner only in the log file. If we have the logging in our project for the logging purpose, right? Then we can go for this mode. If we set the mode as off, then banner is not going to print on the console, right? Banner will not be printed anywhere. Just we are disabling the banner. So earlier we are able to see the banner logo and the console now. I set the mode as off and I am running this application again. Right click, run as boot app. Observe the console. Right now application started and application terminated, but we are not able to see the banner because the mode is off. Right now, how to off this banner from program right here. I'm going to the start class of the spring boot. So here I'm commenting this line, right? So here I'm going to use spring application builder. I need to create the object for this application builder. So new operator, new spring application builder of the start class type application class dot. There is a method banner mode. Banner mode, banner dot mode dot off log console. Here also three options are there. 
now i am going for of dot run method by using arguments so right earlier we are calling spring application dot run method now i am using spring application builder class for that i am calling the method banner mode for that i am setting the banner mode as off then i am calling run method right this is the way we can stop the banner from program right now let's run this application again right click run as boot app fine application started and it got terminated also banner is not printing on the console the reason the mode of the banner is off now so with this we understood how to stop the banner from properties file and how to stop the banner using programmatic approach right now the next part is how to customize this banner it is printing spring as the banner content i don't want to print that spring i want to print my project name or i want to print my company name as a banner for my application how to customize that so spring supporting for customized banners also it supports two types of banners one is text type banner and another one is image type banner here i am going to demonstrate on text type banner right so to work with text type banner we need to have ascii characters here let me generate ascii characters i'm going to one website there we can generate the ascii character for the given string here i'm typing my channel name coding tips for this ascii characters got generated simply i will copy these characters you can find this url in the description box of this video so you can also generate your own custom text right i'm copying this text i'm going to my project resources folder there i will create one file with a name called banner.txt new file file name i am giving as banner.txt this is the default file name and i'm pasting my channel name in the ascii format which is coding tabs right now let's run this application again run as boot app observe the console now instead of the spring now it is printing coding tips as the banner in our boot application all right so similarly we can specify image also right now suppose if i want to change this file name then you need to configure the property in the properties file spring banner location so in which location your banner file is available that file location also we can configure by default it checks for the banner.txt file under the resources folder which considered as a class path so i hope you understood how can we work with banner in spring boot so what are the key takeaways from this video so as part of spring application that run method print banner method is getting called so we have seen the predefined logic also for the banner we can set three modes right the default mode is console and we can set the mode as off and we can set the mode as log also if i set the mode as off banner will not be printed where we can set this mode you can set the mode in the properties file or yml and we can set in the program also so if i set off banner will not be printed if i set the mode as log it will print only in the log file if i don't set any mode default mode will be considered as console it will print that banner on the console if you want to customize the banner we can go for text type banner or we can go for image type banner if you want to go for text type banner create a file with the name called banner.txt and keep ascii characters in that so when you run your application the txt file content will be printed as banner thank you